So hey guys, we are here at the Brits Cascade 2020. It's the ninth annual, like it's like a Lego Expo here in Portland. And they have all sorts of just massive, awesome Lego creations that we're gonna check out today. Yeah, as you can see in the intro, there's this giant roller coaster. That's pretty cool. It looks like they're having issues with it again though. There's so many cool creations to see, and I'm hoping that we're gonna find some cool Lego sets to buy, but I haven't seen anything yet. So, next we're gonna go look at a table with tons of trains on it. We are? I don't think Lego we are. Trains. Which one's your favorite part, Blaine? They're all pretty cool, huh? I see everything. Everything? Yeah, so cool. I like, I like this tower right here that's the Leap of Faith. That's the Leap of Faith? Yeah, that's what it's called. That hand-to-hand -hand oh, one's kind of cool, too. Oh, yeah, well, that hand one's like, no, like, I didn't call it. I, uh, I think there's another one like this, but it's the called Cut the Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That corkscrew here one's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. There's bigger ones, though. If you have a favorite creation, make sure to note the number attached to the ID number of your favorite mock or Lego creation. And then come and vote to get all the information that the kiosk for your favorite item on there is going to have down here. And we want to let you know that there is a meet and greet area um, in the back corner by uh, the creation station. What do you think, Blaine? There is no schedule. Cool. So just keep is it? You think it's cool? Like Which one's your favorite one so far? We hope you have an awesome day at the 9th annual Bricks Cascade Lego this one. That little step one? Yeah, look how complex that is. Whoa, look at that. Is that real? What do you mean, is it real? I like, I, should do that? I like that Japan case study. That's a Japan case study? That's the name of the thing. Yeah, it's like a little intersection that looks like it's in Japan. Oh yeah, you're right. Because all the Spanish words, it's all Spanish. Not Spanish. Why is every language that's not English Spanish to you? Oh, that is amazing. Oh, thank you. It is really neat. Yeah, look at all those. Look at I think I could build that. How many Legos do you pyramid. think are there, Blaine? Huh? How many Legos do you think it took to build that pyramid? Um, Is it a million? Fifty hundred million. I don't think that's a number. Yes, it's doing for this entire thing. The little neon window with the three on it. Those were my favorite Legos when I was a kid. I have that little window. I love that lost, that little lost in space robot. Look how cool he is. Man, I want it. That's the nice guy, right? Yeah. Nice yeah. Well, that's the old robot. I like that white spaceship. That one's really cool. You doing some building, Blaine? Yeah. I'm making a diamond. A diamond? Yeah. Okay. You ain't gonna stop. Look, you can build this thing. Yeah. This, this is really cool. Look how huge it is. Like I like the water too. The water looks really cool. All the detailed work that goes into some of these is just like pretty incredible. Oh, so St. John's Bridge. What cool these are, like that whole, whole image just made out of Legos. Same moment. You could do this. It's like curler beads, but with Legos. Yeah. 
They're Lego people made out of Legos. They're made out of Legos, Andy. Lego people made from Legos. I wish I were made from Legos. There's so many cool creations. Oh, those will, uh, they change. They change as you move. Yeah, Bangle. Excuse us. Now it's Decepticon. That Mario? I'm digging that Mario. That's a pretty cool Mario. That's okay. God, look how cool this is. I love all the old, uh, old school space Lego emblems on there. That's really neat. I think that's the original space one on the bottom. You got your Mtron or whatever, and then I forget what the name of the, uh, the ice one is on the top. I had a bunch of all of them though. God, it's so cool. It's so cool. I realized my mom Look at all the lights on the back. Took some battle damage on the way down. I, I think that one's my favorite, like just a huge space station, spaceship. What'd you build? I'm gonna build a giant treasure room. That's why I got these this tons. Is that's why I got this? tons of these treasure chests and all this gold. Neat. Be sure to share with other people though. Look how colorful all these cool Legos are. They didn't have any of these neat colors when I was a kid, like these oranges. Did he? This is the. And this shade this of blue. The... Tell me about it's, it. There are two cavemen down there, and two pe real people in the back, and then two other cavemen are up there trying to kill the woolly mammoth yeah. for. That's a cool design. For food. That still has Coats. salmon up there, it's cool. Oh yeah, that is. Some of that penguin. And a penguin, yeah. That is a real It's really cool. That's a really cool design. I like the... The spinning robot? Yeah, because it's a... Oh my gosh. It's like a little scout droid that they had in Empire Strikes Back. A scout It was on Hoth. Yeah, it's really neat. Star Wars theme That was one of my favorite droids, too, from the old... Yeah, I like them. I love how huge some of the displays are, don't you? Isn't it cool? Oh yeah, that's cool. Very neat. Very neat, very nice. Oh look, they're fighting. <laughs> Jedi duel. Wait, that's the one. That's the one that the little boy saw. Yes, it is. I like that stuff in the middle. Oh, the lightning. Yeah. Energy binders, Blaine. Energy binders. Look at that cool star like pit. You wanna jump in there, Blaine? No. Why not? Because it'll destroy me. It'll eat you. Yeah, you don't wanna die! <laughs> there's a, there's a, looks like there's a person jumping out the window. On the very top up there. Oh, yeah, it is. It looks like a man and woman are having marriage over there. Over having there? a marriage? Over there? And then somebody's just standing right there? Yep. I love, I love all the detail on it. I know. I love the detail on these builds. It's so cool. Yeah, the water and the waterfall is really cool. Yeah, that's what she was talking about. Yeah, that's really neat. It's really well done. That train's cool. You see those diamonds in there? Yep, that's all. Wait, I'm going to move my guy all the way to the back. All the way to the back? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to count down with me? Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. You got creamed, Blank. Oh Just God. pushed right on through. How about if we put you further up to the front? Do you think that might change? Yeah. All right. Let's try that. Then. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh no! Oh, no! no!
<laughs> they both fell off. It's a tie. It is. We'll call that a draw. <laughs> Did you see that? You see that robot that's standing up with the wheels and that ship that's next to it? I have those. Or I had those. You did? Yeah. I know. They're all mixed up with the other Legos, but I bet we could. I bet we could find the directions and put them back together. This is that set we were just looking at. That's on display over there. I thought it was the Entron, but it's the Spirus. I remember that now. 60 bucks, that's not actually too bad for that. I feel like I want it. Look how cool that spider is. I like the all the little levers. They use little levers for all of his hair. And he looks terrifying. And he's gonna eat my face. Yes, he is. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna eat our face! <laughs> ah! It's a liger mech. It's a liger, yeah. See what a liger is, right? Ligers? Right across the pink lion and a tiger? Bred for their skills in magic? What? Liger. They're bred for their skills in magic. What's a liger? There's a tiger. I love just how detailed like they all are. It's so Look cool. Look at that tiger. It's pretty cool. Me Grimlock, no dummy. Me Grimlock king. Yeah, uh, technically slag, but not in Europe, so they named it slag. Um, That's like Abe Lincoln. Is that an Abe Lincoln zombie? No, he's he's killing the zombies. And they use all the little red pieces. Yeah. And the way that they use that one flips his head around, so it's like. Oh uh, yeah, it's one of the little red yeah. crystals. That is really cool. This guy's got a like a what, like pitchfork going through him. Yeah. That one's not as creative, just because you have to break it, glue it, kind of thing. But that's a bit of serving it on a plate. Well, they had. Oh, it's an actual Fallout one. It's Nuka Cola inside of it. There's just some skeletons back there. Gosh, that's cool. It's so neat. Ah! Rock cutters and rock cutters and. <laughs> Let's see how messed up this really is. They're videotaping his potential death right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's even going on here? And there's a skeleton that's already dead and some bike. Yeah. Well, this thing, they're cutting people up and then they're going into the grill. <laughs> That's how the rich people eat. But they're all zombies. Except for this dude. It's normal. Oh, are they all zombies? They all have Oh, like yeah, I guess they are all yeah. zombies. Except for him. <laughs> well, then. That's how the zombies eat. <laughs> oh, okay. If you ever go to a convention, be respectful and step away so we can keep on moving people. Just like in high school, when you stood in the middle of the walkway with your backpacks on talking. Stupid. Yeah. It really looks mean. like Jabba Hutt. It kind of does. <laughs> like Jabba's floating palace or whatever it is. 34,000 bricks. That uh, stands 11.5 feet tall. I was going to say, like, I'm, so I'm like 6 feet about. And that's towering over me. So yeah, 11 feet sounds right. Uh, I'm reading the sign. Oh, is there a sign over there? <laughs> I didn't see the sign. This one's got naked people. Next is literally the entire park. That's really neat. But the thing is, they're just having a bad day. Yeah, it's not a good day at Jurassic Park. I don't think it's ever a good day at Jurassic Park. <laughs> There's just so many cool Legos. So many cool Lego designs. Falcor. Look at him. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's so cool. <laughs> Look how cool he is. 
I'm on the nothing, there's nothing here, and this is the arm, and they looked at it, it's on the book, and I'm afraid it's necklace. Yeah. And over here, this is the uh, ivory tower, and then there's the... Um, like the gates? Southern Oracle. Yeah. Gosh, that's cool. That's a neat design. Lego convention's over. Didn't have time to do an outro at the convention. Uh, so doing one in the house. Uh, we were all kind of inspired by all the cool Lego designs and everything else that we saw. That we've kind of went a little nuts on buying some more Legos to make other cool stuff. Um, at the Lego convention, I got this. It works all by itself. If you just flip this little switch, the wheels start moving. We got some cool motors. Mm -hmm. uh, I went and bought this giant base plate at uh, one of the bricks and minifigs. Just the day after the convention, they had a cool sale where you could like buy this bag and pay your age, which was pretty cool. So both my kiddos got a bag. Um, but we kind of redecorated, rearranged our playroom area mm -hmm. so we could have more room for Legos. And then I did, I went out into my shed and got my giant box, which was which was my Lego City when I was a kid. And we're gonna open that up for a video next time. Just thank you so much for watching this cool uh, Lego convention blog. Bricks Cascade was a lot of fun. We do plan to go next year. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed everything. Uh, Blaine, what was your favorite part? Um, your car? Got this air, where your car? This. Yeah. I think mine was just all the really cool, um, just all the, the cool builds and stuff. It was really neat. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Until next time, please be kind to each other. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.